hello everyone and welcome back to this new video on mesh today we are discussing about mesh for complicated geometries i want to talk about why manual meshing is so important especially when you are dealing with complicated shapes and designs we all know that meshing is a crucial step right in any simulation it's how we break down our geometry into smaller uh, domains or manageable piece so that console can do its magic while the automatic meshing tool in console are great and can handle a lot of cases pretty well they sometimes miss the mark with really complex geometries that's where manual meshing comes into play in this tutorial we'll see how we can use manual meshing at least the basics of it so that you get an idea how to use it for example even in the geometry itself this is like the mesh one and if you see this mesh it is slightly simpler but even this slightest change can save a lot of memory so if i go back and forth you can see that mesh 1 is very dense whereas mesh 3 is slightly less dense now you might have a question why do we bother about manual meshing at all well first off it gives you a full control over the mesh you can decide exact how fine or coarse the mesh should be in different areas of your model. For example, here I have added a distribution so that there are actually 10 elements in the circle. Okay, so in half the circle. So there are actually 20 dots or 20 nodes along the whole circle. So for example, if you have region with sharp edges, small holes or thin walls you can make mesh finer there to capture all those details accurately on the other hand in simpler areas you can use coarse mesh to shave your computational power and time this way your simulation runs more efficiently without sacrificing accuracy where it matters most so for example from this geometry you can recognize that it is a computer cpu fan right and we all know that this is the fan and this is the thermal uh, mesh kind of metal plates that are there behind the CPU fan. And this is the region where we put the thermal paste and actually put it above the CPU, right? And we are trying to model the thermals of uh, this design. So this is from one of the simulations. So I thought why not make a tutorial of how we can actually minimize the computational cost from the mesh. So what I will do, I will just try to show you that what is the problem here. So I'll just go on to add mesh, click on add mesh. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll just click on the build also. I'll just uncheck this. This is not needed. For now so I'll click on build all now since this is a complicated geometry it might take some time to create the mesh and you can always click on progress and check what is going on so as you can see the total number of elements and I got an error so what is the error it says failed to generate mesh for domain something and there is some phase where we have some problem okay so let's see what is the problem so we'll click here and check what is the problem okay so in this blade i think it's the size of the element that is causing the trouble let's see the other region where i have the problems so it seems like the problem is with the blades now in the blade what i can think is that the thickness of the blade is quite small but i need to check what is the element size so if i go to size you can see that the minimum element size is 0 0.0169 so it is chosen by default by console and the maximum size is 0 0.0094 but I think this mesh size can be smaller. So one way 
to check what is the problem is that by using the measure feature so what we can do i'll just add a distribution just to enable the boundary selection if i click on the sides and then if i click on measure you will see that it will show the length as well as the edge number so you can see the length is in the order of 10 power minus 4 meter right so you can think that this is quite small and even this region will be smaller so i think probably the size of the mesh is a factor here to check that uh, i'll just delete this for now i'll just go on to size and in the minimum size uh, what i can do i'll just add 0 0.05 and i will again click build all and see uh, what happens but before that i will just increase this size so i'll just make it 0 0.001 and the minimum size 0 0.0005 and i'll increase this to 1.8 that is the element will grow 1.8 times and i'll click on build all now we'll see uh, what is the result that we get so wait for a few seconds and probably the mesh will be done so we can always check that in the progress okay so it's showing the number of elements is this around 514k okay it's touching millions okay so this is the mesh uh, that we have got and you can see that there is no error at all so this is nice even if the mesh is fine at least there is no error now here is some uh, exclamation mark and it says the age is much shorter than the specified minimum element size so we need to reduce the element size to maybe a smaller value but what we can do we can always improve our mesh or basically reduce the number of element by adding let's say distributions so what we can do at least we can use the distribution feature in this sites and say that just reduce the number of elements in this region so i will add 25 now i'll just do this for the different region so I'll just add one more distribution and this time I will choose the longer sides. So again, I will make this, let's say 30. Now, remember one thing that if you choose this side and you just type a smaller number, then there will be an error. Now I will explain what do I mean by that. But, but before that, I'll just run the model with this selection and see uh, what we get uh, or i'll just select few more sites so that we can have all at once so i'll select this one and this one now okay let's click on build all now remember that we had like 1.8 million domain elements but i'll click on build all again and see what is the result that we are getting okay so if we look closely uh, the number of domain element have reduced the number of boundary element has also reduced and the number of edge elements has also reduced so what we have done we have reduced the number of element around some region where it is not uh, necessary so these are like the outer region where the thermals will not affect much we are more interested to see the thermals along the edges of these uh, domains okay so this is how you can improve your mesh of your model now as you can see here since we have selected the distribution along this line you can see that it is struggling to draw points and then joining with the other uh, boundaries now if we reduce this from 30 
to a lower number then we might get an error it is because it will check what is the element growth size and then it will also try to stitch the other boundaries with the boundaries that you have selected but you are restricting the boundary to just have 30 elements so you need to be careful while adding the manual control in the mesh so i hope you get some idea how you can actually improve your uh, mesh quality so for complicated geometries like this one i would highly suggest first go with the very fine mesh it might take a while and then try to reduce the number of elements by adding distribution uh, corner refinement size etc for example you can choose these domain and reduce the number of elements here and so on so all these things uh, you can try so i will show you a different mesh that i have prepared so you can see that the number of elements is quite less here so if you click on statistics you will be able to see how many elements are there in this particular geometry so this is like the default mesh that we generated and if i click on statistics it says around 590k elements now this is the mesh that i modified to, to reduce the number of uh, mesh elements and if i click on statistics you can see that it is quite low now let us select the new mesh and click on statistics and you can see that it is quite high so the previous mesh that is mesh 3 this mesh here i have modified it a lot and i will show you the settings of this so here i added a distribution along this circle and i've added a distribution along this circle the outer ring as well as the inner ring so this is how you can improve your mesh in the model